Dearest pen pals, after spending hours of your workday staring at a screen, attending Zoom meets, and keying in spreadsheets, I know you don't want to spend all your free time tapping and clicking through millions of search results to find the perfect gifts for friends and family. We have much better things to do, right? I want to help you so that you can get back to enjoying the company of your loved ones. If you're with me right now, it's because you're searching for a writing gift, either for yourself or someone near and dear to you. In this video series, the goal is to take the guesswork out of gift giving and give our best pen recommendations for a broad range of budgets and interest levels. In the first installment of this 2020 pen gift guide, we explored the $50 and under price range. If that budget is more your speed, check out the link to watch that video. In this episode, my objective is to take a $150 budget and provide gift ideas for the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced pen enthusiast. All right, so we're starting with the beginner level of suggestions. And as we did with the $50 and under video, we suggested the starter fountain pen of which the Lamy Safari always comes up undoubtedly as a great starter fountain pen option. This is the Lamy Studio, which is a great option that provides the utility that works great with beginners, but yet gives you that extra luxury. We're really paying for a lot of the uh, beautiful finish that's on here, the weight, the overall size and everything. It just has a much, much higher level than your entry level Safari or All Star. And the studio uh, has, a, has a quite a contemporary look. It's a very streamlined sort of finish when you have it capped like so. Um, and the propeller clip is just quite unique and, and quite striking and has a nice springiness to it as well. Uh, it looks great. It looks like it should belong in the uh, in MoMA. And it actually has won several design awards internationally and continues to be one of the best selling uh, Lamy pens in this price range. If you're familiar with the Safari, you'll see that the nib is actually the LZ50 SL nib, which is common to the Safari. So if you have a few Safaris already, you wanted to have something that would be able to use the same nib, you could go with the Studio as well and be able to swap out the nibs the same way, just you know, either putting a little piece of scotch tape or pulling the nib straight off like that. And these are available in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad. And like we mentioned previously in the other video is that you would also be able to find calligraphy style nibs 1.1, 1 1.5, and 1.9. So you could actually add some additional flair to your handwriting if you so choose. Now in contrast to the Safaris, the Studios actually include a cartridge and converter with the pen to start with. So you have the option of either bottled ink or cartridges right out of the box. And uh, you don't have to purchase anything additional with that. The Studio is available in a wide different array of colors, of which this is a special edition from last year. And also this LX model is also another special edition. So this all black out, blacked out trims, black matte finish and black matte finish grip here too. And the black nib, which looks really, really cool. It's got that little line that goes in it and everything, which looks really nice. And it's also available in ballpoint and rollerball as well. So these use all proprietary type refills. So if you're shopping for uh, someone and you're getting a ballpoint, you may wanna add in an additional LM16 Lamy ballpoint refill because those are a little bit hard to find unless you buy them online. That would kind of help them out to be able to keep them writing for at least, you know, if you buy extra couple refills, you could last uh, well into a year or so worth of writing. All right, so the studio starts off at 6320 for a ballpoint. And for a fountain pen, you're looking at $78.95. And it ranges because something like the LX goes a little bit more up in price. And there's also a couple of them that use a 14 karat gold nib on there. So those are priced a bit higher. But these are well worth the money. And under 150, you're talking half your budget going to the pen. You could always add in notebooks, ink, and like I mentioned, refills. You could have a complete option, a complete package gift and this would be the cornerstone of that gift. Next we have another pen design that comes from Europe. This is the Carandash 849 collection. This 849 collection is iconic of Carandash. It's actually part of their symbol, their, their hexagonal symbol that they use for their logo is just embodied in this pen. And the reason why that they went for this sort of design is that 
it kind of goes with their heritage of being a, a company that initially was the national pencil maker for Switzerland. So they take that DNA of a company that started off as a pencil manufacturer and they built it into a pen. So you have that familiar hexagonal barrel, which has somewhat slightly rounded edges at the vertices there. And that tapers all the way to the point where usually you would see like the wood case graphite pencil lead, but here you would see a ballpoint refill. And with these 849 ballpoints, which are some of the most popular ballpoints that we sell on goldspot.com, they're available in a really wide range of interests, including fashion designers like Alexander Girard or Paul Smith. And there's even something for uh, the kids these days, which is BT21, which is based off of the Line Friends, that popular social messaging app in Asia. And also they have the Nespresso line. They recycle these from recycled Nespresso capsules. So it's a really neat, interesting matte finish that they have on this arpeggio purple. And it's great to know that you're getting something that was rebuilt from or reused from uh, recycled matter. So you know that you're uh, kind of helping the environment and also helping your pen addiction at the same time. So lots of different styles to choose from there to meet with the personality of the person that you're shopping for. And uh, one of the neat features about this pen is actually the refill, which is called the Goliath refill. You unscrew the back knock here and you would access the cartridges in here. And this cartridge is probably one of the best that we offer in terms of its uh, longevity and also its smoothness. It's available in three different nib sizes. So you'd have the broad, medium, and fine point and a few different colors as well. So uh, you could then just pop in whichever color cartridge you like, screw on the clicker mechanism, and you are good to go. They also have, for fountain pen enthusiasts or for budding fountain pen enthusiasts, they had a fountain pen added to their collection back in 2018. And this is the fluorescent green version. So you really can't miss this pen if you throw it in your bag or it hides in a pen, it, it can't hide on you. This thing just glows with how beautiful this uh, this color is. And it's a it's a pretty light pen. So this is a, a resin construction. Uh, doesn't have much metal with it other than the cap and the top parts here. And originally it will come with a international style ink cartridge from Karandash. This is an idyllic blue. So uh, as some people may know, uh, Fountain pen ink from Karandash is pretty pricey. Um, and in general, a lot of things from Karandash are dearly priced. As uh, one of my uh, sales associates um, that works at Karandash calls it, it is high quality. It's great in design as well. So um, this cap fits pretty flush on the back end of the pen. And it has a quite a drastic drop to this section here. But when you have it closed, it you see the reason why is that they wanted it to have a complete straight cylinder that is flush and that you could actually rotate and uh, be able to match up those facets that are on there. Um, but these fountain pens have a stainless steel nib. Um, they only come with the cartridge to start, but you could purchase the uh, Karandash converter separately. It's the V2 converter that you need for this to fill with bottled ink. And it's available in a wide array of different colors, so uh, to match whichever personality that you're shopping for. The steel nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad. And the ballpoints start with just the regular standard lacquered ballpoints. They start at $20. This one is a little bit higher priced because it is a special edition. So this is the Paul Smith edition. It's a little bit on the pricier side. Um, does come with its own uh, commemorative tin that goes with this pen as well. Um, and the fountain pens, they start at $52. Uh, so both of these collections can be found at goldspot.com. And for our next suggestion, went with something that's quite pocket-sized and very minimal, uh, which is a style that a lot of people appreciate, even in like, let's say the everyday carry community uh, that has translated well in the pen community, which this, this really small minimal style is perfectly embodied in the Caveco Lilliput. Um, this is one of Caveco's uh, more famous pen designs in recent history alongside the Sport, which is also a very, you know, kind of pockets friendly type of pen. These pens are machined out of solid metal. So either from aluminum like this ballpoint pen or from copper like this pen, it's machined from solid aluminum and it has very minimal amounts of parts. So not only is it very plain in design, but uh, this pen only consists of three separate parts, which is the cap, the grip section and the barrel. And uh, by its stature, it only uses 
the international style ink cartridges, which uh, may, you know, not, not be the most friendly to people that would prefer filling with bottled ink, but for beginners, it's pretty nice because you just have the plug and play uh, international style ink cartridge, which is pretty easy to find uh, because it's a very um, adaptable type of ink cartridge. So it, uh, it does include a number five size stainless steel nib available in point sizes of extra fine, fine, medium broad, or double broad. Um, the nib consistency could either be usually like either Yovo or Bach. I think majority of them are usually Bach nibs. Um, for people who understand what that really means, they'll know, but like it's just, in general, it's the same uh, country of origin as far as their two German uh, manufacturers, but there are subtle differences between, let's say a Bach and a Yovo nib. Uh, so, it, but just in general, Coveco likes to order both types, um, get their manufactured nibs from both factories so that they don't have a, uh, a lack of supply if like one manufacturer is a little bit slower than the other one in getting their uh, nibs together. So the Lilliput is available in a wide array of different finishes uh, and it's also available in a ballpoint version as well. So for the ballpoint version, you have a mini D1 size type refill of which you would pluck out here and then you could put back. There we go. And it's a very small pocket pen. And this pocket pen starts at $50 for a ballpoint and $60 for a fountain pen with the more precious metals, I'll say, like the brass or the copper coming in a little bit higher in price. And I think all the way at the top, you have the fire blue, which is actually hand torched at, I believe it's about, it's over $150. So that might be out of the range of this particular video, but most of them are within range of the under $150 price point for the fountain pen. And now on the size spectrum of pens, you would have something like the Lilliput, which is a very small pocket pen. Now we have a large, generously sized pen in the Conklin All-American. And these pens originally came in all acrylic models. Uh, however, they have expanded outward to uh, a wood finish in this nice wood limited edition here. In this golden walnut limited edition, we have something that is new to the collection, which is an all wood finish, which looks really nice. Uh, these fountain pens use a number six size Yovo stainless steel nib, an extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1 millimeter stub, and an Omniflex, which is the type that I'm holding here. Uh, the Omniflex was recently updated to also be a Yovo brand nib. They are filling by cartridge or converter, of which both are included, uh, which is a nice bonus for those at beginning. You could either have the option of, of bottled ink or cartridges. And this is the Turquoise Serenity, which is a brand new finish, which has a little bit, slight bit of translucency through the material, which looks pretty cool. The uh, All-American has a rocker clip, so if you press on the very top of the clip, uh, it opens up the clasp here to be able to attach onto some pretty thick surfaces. And it's pretty classic of the Conklin brand to have that style of clip. So this is something that they borrowed uh, from a tradition of their vintage designs. And also too, is they come in limited editions like this Courage, which was something that was released this year in honor of those first responders, doctors, nurses, people who have been on the front lines of the pandemic. And one of the things that they did to uh, create this edition was to change the cap bands to say Courage with a lifeline here that has a little, uh, little blip on here, it's an EKG line. And also on here you have the Staff and Serpent down the rocker clip. And you also have a pin that comes with these uh, that also has that same similar illustration on here too. And usually their limited editions are limited to 1,898 pieces uh, because that is the year that Conklin was founded here in the United States. So uh, it is a bit on the larger side, like I said. So if it's something that uh, you know the person that you're gifting for has a large pair of hands or prefers large pens, uh, these are certainly more their speed than let's say the Caveco Lilliput. And, uh, and they come in a wide different variety of, of acrylic styles. And like I mentioned, you have the now the wood style. They start at $59.95 for a ballpoint pen and then $75.95 for a fountain pen. Now we're stepping it up to the intermediate level. These are people that are looking to get to the next level. They've already had some experience with fountain pens or with fine writing pens in general. And they're looking for that extra step into luxury. And the first one I would recommend would be the Pilot 
vanishing point decimal. This is one of the best values, I would say, under 150, because at under 150, you are getting an 18 karat gold nib, the same nib that would be on a vanishing point. And what's different about the decimo is that it's slightly thinner and a little bit lighter than a normal vanishing point. So it's still good for, I would say, either men or women. Um, and it certainly ha skews a little bit more towards a female writer, um, but I certainly wouldn't discount the fact that men would also be writing with this as well because it's still, you know, it's, it's a very slight difference from the standard vanishing point. And I mean, in terms of writing quality, it's going to be the same exact thing as a vanishing point, just sparing the, the, the details about the size and the weight. And these each have a lacquered metal body, a silver pocket clip, which, you know, kind of might get in the way for some writers when they're writing with the, the nib here uh, towards the top. So this nib unit completely comes out and can actually be replaced. We sell replacement 18 karat gold nib units and attached to the nib unit here is the CON40 converter. And some people not really big fans of the CON40 converter. So you do actually have the option as well uh, in the box here are the Pilot proprietary ink cartridges, which also has a cartridge cap so that it makes everything work with the retraction mechanism and everything. You have a 18 karat gold retractable fountain pen so it's mega convenient and has a really nice smooth uh, feeling writing experience and has that really neat looking uh, semi hooded type nib and for $144 that's the sale price that we have it for at goldspot.com really can't find any better of a value when it comes to an 18 karat gold nib to upgrade your writing. So next is the formidable Twisby VAC 700R fountain pen. This is a full-size clear demonstrator fountain pen that uses a vacuum filling system, which is a really neat, convenient, high capacity filling system. It works pretty seamlessly with, especially if you use it with the VAC-20A ink bottle, um, which in concert, like it makes it so easy to fill and mess free. You would have a one stroke filling mechanism that would then suck up the ink into the barrel and really the only thing about this pen is that it's a little bit harder to clean. However, uh, being that it's Twisby and that they promote having their pens be fully detachable and maintenance by the user, uh, they make it pretty easy then to take apart this pen. So you could either take it apart from the front grip section or you could take it apart using the added wrench and silicone grease and extra O-rings there. And you could actually take apart the entire uh, vac filling system from the back end uh, when you unscrew this blind cap. It has a pretty massive two milliliter ink capacity. And what that may cause is that if you have a lot of ink in it for a long time, and I mean, even if you write every single day, um, you could still be working off the same tank of ink for weeks, if not months. Uh, and if you have a few pens inked, then that may mean that this pen does not see a change of ink in let's say several months. Um, so you may have, especially if you're using like a saturated or shimmer ink, you may have a problem where you need to go in and really clean this pen, especially since it's such a nice, beautiful, clear demonstrator. You may want to clean out any sort of staining or a little bit of residue that's in there. It is a little bit tricky to clean and that's why they wanted to make it so that you could detach everything and, and be able to, to give it a thorough cleaning if need be. This pen uses a stainless steel number no. six Yovo nib available in extra fine, fine, medium, or 1.1 millimeter stub. And it starts at $65 with the stub being a little bit more expensive. Even at $65, you're talking, this is a, an awesome value. You're getting a number no. six size Yovo nib. You're getting a vacuum filling system and then the ability to be able to take this whole thing apart and clean it. Uh, it's a beautiful addition to your collection, even if you've had experience with other Twisby pens like the 580 or the Eco. This is really where your next level type of pen um, that you'll enjoy for a lot of different reasons, not only the writing experience, but the filling experience as well. So if you're looking for even a higher amount of ink capacity, your next level pen is going to be the Opus 88. And when I say Opus 88, that's actually a brand, but it includes a lot of pens and all of the pens are modeled after Japanese eyedropper fill pens. So they all feature eyedropper filling mechanisms that fill with pretty much, I think over three milliliters of ink on average with each one of them. This is the Omar and usually they pair translucent or transparent uh, bodies and sections here we have uh, the, there's an ink window here that has a clear section, but then we have a frosted barrel, a frosted grip section, and a frosted cap, but then a really nice kind of like a magnifying glass sort of finial on the end here, and then also on the blind cap as well. And similarly to the 
vac filling systems, you have a rod that's in here that prevents ink from leaking out the pen. So it's an emergency shutoff valve that what you would have to do is like when you want to flow more ink into the nib uh, to keep your writing session going, you would have to unscrew this back part like I just did here, let the ink flow into the front section, and then you would keep writing. If you wanted to travel with it, take it on an airplane, or you know you're going into uh, lots of different pressure changes or heat changes, then you could close this back up and you know for certain that you're not going to get a blob of ink on the page uh, due to burping or due to pressure changes uh, going on there. So it's not gonna leak on you. This particular model is quite large, although that Opus pens tend to be a little bit on the larger side. However, there's like the Coloro, which is, you know, decently average size. And then you have something like the Fantasia, which is a little bit more on the pocket size, but they all, feature relatively high ink capacities because their barrels are, are rather large. This is the, one of the latest collections is the Jazz, which has a dollar black resin cap, silver trims that are here. And then on the barrel, we have an acrylic barrel that has a little bit of some modeling uh, and, and is somewhat translucent. So you could still see through to the, uh, to the ink that would be on the inside. And they do vary. Uh, certain models do include a Yovo nib, and certain ones include Bach nibs. Uh, so these, both of these collections include Yovo nibs in the stainless steel variety, and they are sized at either extra fine, fine, medium, broad, a 1.5 millimeter stub, or in the cases of certain Bach models, include a 2.3 millimeter stub, which is a big fat nib. They're popular pens to be able to swap out other types of Yovo nibs. So if you wanted to, let's say, if you had a, a Yovo nib that was a customized nib, you could then unscrew it and then put in that customized Yovo nib. That's particularly useful if you already have uh, other pens that use Yovo nibs and uh, you have a particular grind on it that you really enjoy and you wanna write with it uh, on this particular pen, it's pretty easy to just be able to swap out the nibs. So there's a great variety of these Opus pens to choose from. Go look at our website on the Opus brand page. They start at $93 and they don't go any higher than the 150 mark. Um, so all adequately priced within that range. Uh, you could also buy a bottle of ink to go along with it um, because you will need a lot of ink for these pens. What I would recommend to do if you are stepping up and you really want to have that high, high ink capacity uh, and a pen that has a pretty generous size and that adaptability with the Yovo nib. Visconti is really known for their Homo sapiens, which is a grail pen. And a lot of people love entering in the Visconti brand because it is synonymous as like a Mont Blanc would be as a high end luxury writing brand. And at the under $150 mark, you can access the Visconti Rembrandt, which is which used to actually be the starter level for Visconti pens up until recent history when they introduced the Breeze and the Mirage, which were uh, less expensive than the Rembrandt. But the Rembrandt continues to be one of the strongest pens in the Visconti brand because of its classic cigar kind of shape profile. It's uh, It's got the rounded ends. It has a magnetic cap, which is kind of a, a calling card to the brand. It has the iconic bridge clip, this Visconti art clip with Visconti screened on the both sides of the clip. It also has the uh, medallion at the very top here, which is magnetically attached to the top so that you can actually take it off with a magnet and you could put on the My Pen System initials, which is something we do with special request. If you want to put two initials on there, we do have that. Or they also have gemstones that you could purchase, like uh, that would be your birthstone. So that's another customization alternative of which you could buy the gemstones separately. I think they're $15 on the website. These are designed and inspired by the Dutch master painter, Rembrandt, of course, and they have variegated resin, which has kind of like a swirling uh, pattern. And it, on this particular model, it's quite subtle. It's a very dark pen, but you could kind of see some white whirls and some whirls of color here and this very dark purple resin. The grip section is metal. This is a number five size uh, Bach nib, and they are available in fine, medium, or broad in the stainless steel. The pens include an international style converter, and uh, they can also fill by international ink cartridges as well. And uh, they are also available in ballpoint and rollerball, and this is the Blue Fog. These ballpoints use a Parker style type refill, which is pretty easy to find if you need to replace it. The Visconti Rembrandt 
represents a little bit more of an artistic style that gives you a little bit more luxury at the accessible under $150 price point. The ballpoint starts at $132. The fountain pen with a steel nib starts at $148. Now we have entered into the advanced level. This is the Additive Pens Double Helix. This is the ACP6 model, which is the model that we currently stock in both the Double Helix and the Ribbon style. Uh, this is a 3D printed pen. So it, what really makes it advanced is its filling mechanism because this is a little bit different than let's say your Opus C88, which you just kind of drop the ink straight in. Um, this requires a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more specifications involved, especially when it comes to cleaning it. Because as you can imagine, this isn't really easy to clean. Um, this actually requires use of isopropyl alcohol, um, of which there's instructions inside the box, and there's uh, silicone grease so that you could grease the section threads here when you do put the, the barrel back on. Um, but this is a little bit, this is a pen that I feel is a little bit more tailored to the pen enthusiast that's really into pens. Um, because you can get somebody who's not really comfortable with, let's say, eyedroppering or doesn't really want to clean their pens, is not really interested in doing that, um, kind of get a little bit frustrated with this because it is, uh, in order to get this to look perfectly clear again, it's very, very, uh, you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Let's just say that. It is when you have this working, when you have the ink flowing through this and you're writing with it and you're watching the ink and you can actually play with it going up and down. You can watch the ink as it kind of goes through the helix and everything like that. It is fascinating and it's really, really cool. It's a neat way to see the 3D printed technology uh, kind of overlap with our old school technology of pens, which actually this is all 3D printed out of a resin, um, but the section and the cap are acrylic. You have to be a little bit careful because you, the way that you treat this material is gonna be different the way you treat and, and clean this material here. And these have a stainless steel number no. six Yovo nib available in fine, medium, or 1.1 millimeter stub as an option that it comes with. However, what I would also just suggest being that you're getting this for an advanced level user is that that advanced user may already have Yovo nibs available in all sorts of different styles like specialized grinds like architect grind or stub or cursive italic. And it would just be really easy, just like with the Opus to unscrew and to replace the nib on your double helix pen. And then that way you would have a completely different experience with this pen based upon whichever nib size that you decide to add on it. And it is a really cool talking piece. Uh, this pen I think is very eye-catching, especially when you do have ink in it. The Additive Pens Double Helix is a neat addition to your collection. It is $140 on sale at goldspot.com. So for the pen enthusiasts that have it all, which that's what we consider the advanced enthusiast, we have the Estabrook Nook. The Estabrook Nook is available in several different sizes of which the one I'm showing you here is the six pen size. So you have six slots for pens on here. It also comes in a single, a double, a three pen, and a 12 pen case. It's made out of this navy fine grain synthetic vegan leather and has red stitching to really make it pop and accent this design. It has a plush feeling to the exterior, um, but it has a very sturdy wall to the outside and the back of it. And of course the feeling of this material has like a, a smooth, smooth texture. It has this magnetic closure snap. So it's not like a, it's not like a, a, like a pop snap. It's more like a magnet. And this gatefold flap allows you really quick access into the compartments here. And the inside of the compartments feature the Estabrook Infinity logo. And there's an elastic strap that goes around the whole entire band of the of all the pens here. And this fits a pretty decently sized pen. I'll just grab one of the Opus 88s to show you here. So you could fit a fairly large size type of pen that's in here. Each slot can actually accommodate a pen of six inches in length and three quarter inches in diameter. And they start at $68 for just a one single pen case, but I would recommend going a little bit higher than that because if you wanna take multiple pens with you. So you have $140 is for the dozen pen case. So this, the six comes in a little bit below that. It definitely has like a great luxury feel uh, for something that is affordably priced and a perfect addition to your pen collection.
One of the most often overlooked aspects of fine writing is paper. All the glory goes to pens and inks and everything that's very colorful and pretty, but however, paper usually is not something that a lot of people consider, especially pen enthusiasts uh, looking to explore their collection a little bit more and, and really enjoy the experience of writing. So I would suggest this Yamamoto paper sampler. This is an A4 size tablet with 18 curated Japanese paper types. Japanese paper is some of the best, particularly for fountain pens. This the level of color and the smoothness and the, and just the overall, the, the way that it handles fountain pen ink is just a lot different than even the more premium brands of paper within Europe can provide. There's five sheets of each type of paper and each type of paper is listed here on the front. And then you would also see when you get to each section that divides it, you would have a little description of what that paper is, the gram weight, and then also the company that produces it. This is a great way to explore different types of paper and then being able to then search out that paper in a notebook online or through a, a web store. Um, we're trying to start to collect all of these different notebooks and papers on our website as well. But for right now, we have this beautiful collection that is on sale for $39.95 and you could explore and find your next favorite paper with this particular sample collection. All right, so, so far we really haven't talked much about ink, but a fountain pen enthusiast can always use more ink. Can never go out of style giving a nice ink set. So these sets come under $150 and provide a wide array of different colors that could suit your mood, match the particular pen that you're writing with, or just switch it up so that your writing looks a lot different and you could get something that has like a little bit of that sheen or shading. Um, so something like this Diamine ink set, which this is the flower set. There's also a music one as well. This set is curated to compliment somebody who, let's say, you know, not only loves to write, but also likes to garden. There are 10 bottles that are in here, 30 milliliters each bottle, and these bottles look pretty cool on their own, and they're packaged really nice and securely, and come in a, in a wide range of different colors. So they start at $89.95 for this particular set. And another thing to consider too, is not only just a set of ink colors, but also, limited edition inks, which is like one of the most hottest things that really no one talks about. People talk about limited edition pens all the time, but ink has also been, has come up as a crazy lucrative limited edition run. And Pilot took that by the horns with the limited edition 100th anniversary set, which was debuted in, I think 2018, at the end of 2018 it was. And these uh, set of seven colors were introduced along with a set of seven pens that were done for the seven gods of good fortune, the Japanese seven gods of good fortune. So each color represents one of those gods. And in this set, you have 15 milliliter bottled inks that were made exclusively for the Iro Shizuku ink line, but were limited only to those releases. So these sets are limited, and we don't have that many of them left, being that it's been over a year and a half or so since we've had these available. These colors are not going to last. So if it's one of these things where if you really want to, uh, you know, find a particular color that you love, like let's say a Lamy Dark Lilac, or Lamy Petrol is, is another example too. There's limited editions that just won't be around forever and ever. And same thing with this set here. So you could have a beautiful rainbow of ink colors to write with and you can make sure that you get them before they end up disappearing. And this particular set comes in a pretty nice dis uh, display case that's here. Like I have it flipped up here, displays all the bottles quite nice and beautifully. And this is $100 on goldspot.com at the moment. Another thing I would suggest too is retailer exclusive inks like our Solar Wind and Magnetosphere, which is the uh, Goldspot Special Edition Aurora Borealis set from Colorverse. This includes a 65 milliliter of what we call Solar Wind, which is a light blue color, and then a 15 milliliter bottle of Magnetosphere, which is a dark purple color. And this was actually engineered, this was a collaboration between Goldspot pens and Colorverse, and it's engineered to be mixed together. So you could get a range of color from that light blue to that dark aubergine purple by mixing these two inks together. This is another limited edition, like I mentioned about the pilots. This is a limited edition that is not gonna be around forever, and you should probably pick it up 
if you really just love this idea and you need to get this in, as part of your gift. Another thing to consider is something like this Three Oysters DIY My Color set. So this set is actually built to mix colors, which is another fun aspect that really doesn't get talked a lot about in the pen community is that you could actually, with certain sets like this, you can actually make your own color, which is really cool because then you could customize it and fine tune it to the perfect hue that you feel like you wanna write with, or just match it to a particular pen that you love writing with and you have the perfect color for it now by kind of just playing around with the mixing combination, putting a drop in here, putting a drop in here. And this comes with the whole entire set of what you need to be able to do that, to basically make any color under the rainbow. So that is another option right there. And altogether inks are a great option for advanced pen enthusiasts because they could always use more ink. You can find links to all the pens and accessories we mentioned in the description below. If you have a great fine writing gift idea under $150 that I missed, put it in the comments. I'd love to read all of your thoughtful suggestions. Thank you for checking out this Goldspot gift guide video. If you'd like to see future installments, hit the subscribe button and stay informed about all the latest and greatest writing instruments. Thank you and stay inky my friends, take care.